action. Hey guys, here we are, day number three <laughs> for the sourdough bread starter series put together by Heather over at the Needy Homesteader. I will have her channel link in link, channel link in the description box. <laughs> Jeez. So I have no idea what Gladys, the starter, has done today. I wanted so bad to take her out earlier and check, but I didn't. I thought I would wait and I, I'm a little skeptical. I'm like, I don't know if this is working, but. Hey, is she Walter's cousin? No. <laughs> no. Sister. <laughs> no. They are of no relation. Um, Fred. So I watched Heather's video this morning, and so I know today, hopefully, if Gladys has grown, we will be increasing her feed. <laughs> so I've already measured everything out. Because I only have one measuring cup that's two-thirds. Yes, I know I could have used one-third twice. Um, but I, I have this two-thirds right here with water. Careful, Jerry. Um, I filled this up with flour, and then I poured it into this cup, and then I did the water in this. And it is still warm, so I better hurry up. Let me get Gladys, and let's see how it's going. Caitlin has promised not to say anything until after I find out what Gladys has done. <laughs> yeah. We've been keeping her in the oven with the light on. And I threw this little towel over it. I call it her. Her, is that weird? Um, well, her towel has roses on it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what Gladys is doing. No comment. <laughs> The jar's warm. I hope I hope I don't have it too warm, but it's nice and warm. I don't have to unscrew it because I just sat the lid on there gently. Here we go. Oh my goodness, that is a strong odor, I'll tell you that. Oh, wow. I'm gonna smell it first, okay? For those of you who don't know, I am totally blind, so I'm not a, doing this with sight. I do have my family that does look at things for me if I need them to, but I'm gonna do it the way that I can do it. So I'm gonna smell it up close. Oh my God, that's really strong. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do you think? I'd say she grew. It's got more of a spongy feel today. Has she grown? Yes. Yes? Yes. I'm gonna stick this in. You can probably tell from the past clips that she grew. But when, I'm just going to say it now, mm -hmm. that when I opened the oven earlier, she was in the middle of growing. But I told her not to say anything to me until yeah. now. Now, what I can't see, and I have watched other videos today and done some research, that a lot of times there will be bubbles. So obviously, because I'm blind, I can't see if there's bubbles. Um, and I can't see if there's the layer of liquid on the top, which... It is the alcohol because it is fermenting. Can we take a look inside? I've heard that uh, it's called hooch. <laughs> um, yeah, take a look, see. It definitely does have bubbles. Yay! Definitely does. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yes, there's a lot of bubbles. <laughs> it grew, it has bubbles. Is there any liquid? Maybe a darkish color? Um, It's more like a, well, you can't really tell because the Gladys is brown, mm -hmm. it, but it does look like a little bit of liquid. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. It's working. Last night when I fed her, I was like, I don't know, you know but I think it's working. Yeah, so. last, last night I just said, I don't know if this will work. <laughs> oh, she smells really strong. Okay. She smells like really strong bread. And I'm definitely going to have to move her probably tomorrow. I don't have a bigger jar. If I go out tomorrow, I'll find one, but I do have a glass bowl. And some of the videos I was listening to today, they were using glass bowls and just throwing a, you know, like a loose lid over the top that covered it or a towel, like a cheesecloth. And I do believe I have a cheesecloth. So, all right, let's feed her. <laughs> Diamond says yes. I have dogs. Pl 
Shush. I have dogs playing. Shut. Okay. Wait. She no, she's staring at me. Barking. So I'm gonna add in the flour. Flour. Did you say how much flour that is? Oh, because it grew, I am increasing the flour to two thirds cup um, of wheat flour. I'm not doing this by grams because I don't have a scale. So I'm doing it the old fashioned way. So two thirds cup of wheat flour is going into the jar. Hopefully, so, hopefully not on the counter. Ah! Oh, went some of it. That went on the, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's going, yep. I think it's okay. I, I'm trying to relax about it a little bit more. Um, it's funny, everybody, every video I listened to today and all the reading I did, they all say something different. And I'm trusting Heather's 100%. Um, but I am trying to relax about it a little bit more because uh, there is room for spills and you can add extra water, etc. if you need to. How much do you increase her flour or amount a day? Do you know? Mm, no, I don't know. Hmm. If you're using grams, like Heather um, added 100 grams of flour and 100 grams of water. So she increased it today because hers grew. And I think she said it's named Jesse. Correct hers, me if I'm wrong. Hers is Jesse? Yeah. So Jessie. I'm gonna add in the two thirds cup of water. So we got Jesse. Which would be Walter, 100 grams. Walter. Uh, Gladys. Now remember, I'm doing this without measuring, uh, weighing it. So I'm really just throwing caution to the wind here. So we're gonna give it a stir. Is she tough? <laughs> she is. And they, you know, they said you want like a, a batter. Um, I might add a little bit more water, maybe. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Cleo. <laughs> that's D. -D. Oh, that's Diamond. Can you yeah. see her? Yeah. This is not sanitary. <laughs> You're not supposed to be up here. <laughs> oh, dogs. Okay. So I'm gonna stir this for a couple minutes, probably, because it needs it, and then we'll be right back. <coughs> okay, so she's feeling really smooth. Um, I can't see if there's lumps, so um, Caitlin's here, and she did tell me it looks like we got the lumps out. But if you know, if she wasn't here, I would just keep stirring for a couple more minutes and. Uh, just call it done. You know, you just gotta, I say this every video, throw caution to the wind and see what happens. <clears throat> so it's okay to have like tiny itty bitty bumps here and there? Uh, they want, they say it should be pretty smooth, but there's other videos that say it's okay if there's tiny lumps, but I, I like to have it pretty smooth. And like right. I said, I'm following um, the Needy Homesteader and I, Hers turns out beautiful, so. <laughs> All right, who got, I can't describe. If you're doing this as well, is yours smelling this strong? Like, whoo wee. <laughs> Over here, you can smell it, but I feel like it's just like going in your face. Okay, so obviously, I decided to upload tonight. Mm -hmm. And according to a couple of the comments I got in last night's video, I am gonna just upload every night until the nine days is up, so. I appreciate you guys watching and enjoying this <laughs> adventure with me. And I sure hope at the end of all this, it comes out good. Um, if not, I'm gonna start all over again. But I think we're on the right track. Let me know if you guys are doing this as well. <laughs> Shush. Diamond. Shush. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this spatula. Oh, and I'm... <laughs> Try to scrape the sides as best I, Shush. as best I can, but you know, it is what it is. So, let me get rid of this spatula real quick, or scraper thingy, my bobber. <laughs> this has been a great day for cooking. I made a meatloaf today, came out awesome. Made butter and garlic noodles today, came out awesome. Made roasted vegetables today, awesome. And then I tried some um, zoodles, zucchini noodles that you stick in the microwaves in a steamer bag.
Those weren't bad, and I was really nervous to try them because I'm not a fan of zucchini. I love but them. Anything to get me away from the pasta. <laughs> so I'm going to just slap the lid on the jar, and she's definitely going in a bowl tomorrow. Speaking of zucchini, why, am, why do I feel like I'm the only kid who loves vegetables? You're not. <laughs> That's a good thing you do because your mama's not crazy about all of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I buy a bigger jar tomorrow, she'll go in there or she's going in a glass bowl. Put her towel on her. Her blankie. Whoops. Is this the rose side? Um, the other side? Wait, which one do you want? What? <laughs> The one facing me was white. Yeah, so you put it over her like that. Okay. Good night, Gladys. We will see you tomorrow.